From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm John Kennedy. A public service funeral will be held in Ottawa today, remembering the victims of a mass killing from last week. The multi-faith funeral service is scheduled at the city's Infinity Convention Center for 1 p.m. Six people, including four children, were found dead last week inside of a townhouse in Ottawa's South End Barhaven suburb, and a 19-year-old international student is facing multiple charges. The victim included a 35-year-old old Darshani Ekenyaka and her four children, who ranged in age from two months to seven years old, as well as a family friend. The PEI RCMP has charged three dozen people for impaired driving so far this year, with majority of the cases related to the use of cannabis. 19 of 36 charges laid since the start of the year were related to driving under the influence of pot. RCMP spokesman Gavin Moore says impaired drivers are being stopped by both regular officers and specialized officers in a traffic unit. He says cannabis can impair your coordination, reaction time, and decision-making skills skills, which are all needed for safe driving. Former U.S. President Donald Trump spoke at a rally in Ohio ahead of the state's primary tomorrow. Ohio Republicans are voting in a three-way primary for the Senate, where Trump endorsed a political newcomer who trails the state senator in a close race. This Trump supporter at the Dayton rally says he supports the former president for defending conservative values. What drew me to him was his confidence in his own reality and like his ideas. Trump used the stage to deliver a profanity-filled version of his usual rally speech that painted an apocalyptic picture of the country if U.S. President Joe Biden continues with a second term. A man suspected of fatally shooting three family members in their Philadelphia area homes yesterday was arrested in New Jersey after evading law enforcement for hours. Trenton Police Director Steve Wilson says Andre Gordon Jr. was arrested near a house where officers had believed he was barricaded inside. They uh, attempted a soft surrender and to negotiate for a suspect to come out. However, unbeknownst to law enforcement, uh, the suspect had fled the scene before a perimeter had been set up. Authorities say they believe the 26-year-old killed his step mother, his teenage sister, and the mother of his children in shootings at two homes in eastern Pennsylvania's Falls Township in the morning. A volcano in Iceland has erupted for the fourth time in three months, sending orange jets of lava into the night sky. Hundreds of people have been evacuated from Blue Lagoon Thermal Spa, one of the largest tourist attractions in Iceland. Melissa Izar says she and her husband were safely evacuated from the spa after the sirens started blaring. Some people drove cars. We took the bus into town. So it was pretty, they handled it very, very well. Previous eruptions in December, January, and February all petered out within a few days. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, there are seven games in the NHL today with two Canadian teams in action. The Winnipeg Jets, two points out of the Central Division lead, visit the Columbus Blue Jackets, while the Ottawa Senators look to boost their win streak to four games when they host the surging Carolina Hurricanes. The Professional Women's Hockey League has a game on schedule with Toronto visiting Montreal. The two teams are tied for second place in the six-team league with 30 points. Minnesota, with a 5-1 win over New York yesterday, is first overall with 33 points. The NBA has quite the schedule packed with games going on throughout the evening, including one in Orlando, Florida, between the Magic and Toronto Raptors. The Magic beat the Raptors 113-103 in Toronto on Friday. The injury-riddled Raptors are 12th in the Eastern Conference with a 23-44 record, losing six games in a row. From the Canadian Press, I'm John Kennedy. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.